If you want some object to be interactive and clickable, uh, and you want to link it to a website or either a file, you can use the hyperlink option. In order to do that, I'm going to take, uh, click on this uh, firewall right here, and I'm going to go on to hyperlink option under my insert tab. So I'm going to click on hyperlink right here, and on address, I'm going to type in uh, a web address that I know of. So I'm going to type in something like www.youtube.com, just like this. So that's the web address that I want the hyperlink to be. So I can also rename the hyperlink right here. I'm just going to say YouTube just like that and I'm going to press OK. Once I do that, this is the hyperlink as you can see and as I hover over, you can see that there's YouTube and if I were to control click, then it'll actually redirect to the YouTube website. So you can see that it connects to the YouTube uh, website just like that and there you go. That's the YouTube website on my pad. So now, now what I can also do is I can link uh, onto an internal file. So in order to do that, I'm going to go over here and I'm going to select hyperlink. And here in the address, I'm going to click browse and I'm going to select local file. And once I do that, you can see that I have access to local file, but by default, it only sees the video file. So I'm going to change this out into all files so that I can hyperlink any file that I want. So I'm going to go on to my PC, onto my tutorial drive right here and I can link up to any file I want. For example, I want to uh, link up to, let's say, pictures right here, and I'm going to select this picture right here. I'm going to press open, and you can see that this is my address now, and this is the description. So I'm just going to say boats, just like that. Press OK, and there you go. That's the hyperlink right here. If I were to control click, the picture will open up. I can also hyperlink to another page inside of PJ itself. So let me make a new page for that. This is the blank page. I'm going to go through here and on the switch, I'm just going to uh, right click hyperlink. That's another way to hyperlink. And I'm going to go into sub address right now because I'm linking something inside of the page. So I'm going to click on browse and here's the page as you can see, and I can choose uh, page two. I can also go over here and click the zoom level. I'm just going to leave that into default. I'm going to press OK. That's the page two. Go to next page. I'm going to select that and I'm going to press OK. Once I do that, what I can do is I can simply right click and you can see that there's go to next space right here or I can hover over and control click and it will be re redirected into the next space as you can see. So you can, these are the three types of hyperlink and you can also add in more than one hyperlink. So let's say for example, I'm going to click new and here I'm going to type youtube.com right here and I'm going to just uh, rename this out as YouTube, just like that. All right, there you go. So YouTube, go to next space, okay. And as I hover over, you can see that there are multiple hyperlinks. So if I were to control and click, you see that it asks me whether I want to go to the next space or go to the YouTube hyperlink. I can also right click and you can see this go to next space and YouTube at the same time. So that is how you can utilize and with hyperlinks inside of Microsoft Visio. Hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe.